speed course is a basic course, uh, so it's an initial qualification. Basically, takes pilots who are unqualified in a fighter aircraft and qualifies them in whatever fighter aircraft they're assigned to. The B course is built is to take us just on that first step, and uh, the instructors are really great because they are able to see, you know, they're able to see each of us individually, not just see us all as a class, but see us individually as a student and figure out where we need to be pushed. Honestly, I, I learned a lot about myself and uh, the other students in the course, and I was, I was honestly really surprised that we were able to go from uh, zero fighter experience, T-38 pilots, to where we are now. I was pretty surprised that we were able to learn as much as we did in the short time that we had here. The instructors were great. I think we're really fortunate here in the 58th at Eglin because it's one of the most experienced instructor cadre you'll find in the Air Force. Almost half the instructors have attended fighter weapons school and you're, that's really unheard of. You won't find that in any other squadron. And they're really uh, brought a wealth of experience and knowledge that you just don't see elsewhere. This aircraft is incredibly complex and I think that it takes a long time to become a subject matter expert on just one facet of it. This is a multi-role aircraft. It does air-to-air -air missions and it does air-to-ground missions and each one of those missions has had you know 50 years of Air Force experience put into each one of them right in terms of growing the tactics and procedures that we use in order to fight the war. On any given day when you are given your first intro to one facet of this aircraft you're up against years and years and years of collective knowledge and so it becomes very detailed very quickly so there's a very high level of, uh, of achievement that, uh, that the instructors need to see. I think the cadre here did a really good job of also just instilling in us, you know, what it means to be a fighter pilot, you know, the ways that you're kind of supposed to act culturally, you know, what it means to be, you know, humble about what you're doing and also, you know, admit when you're wrong, be able to stand up in front of someone, talk about what you've done wrong. The caliber of the people and the fighter business is mostly what has kept me motivated. Everyone is extremely competitive and wants to do well. And I think that's what kept me motivated for the most part, uh, just a desire to do well. There's, you really don't want to be uh, like letting your buddies down in any of the missions or anything. You want to be performing at a high level so you can help the team succeed. I think that's the real motivating factor that most guys have. And knowing how to be a wingman and how to be a team player is the most important thing. Um, you got to be humble, you got to be proud of what you do, um, you got to be knowledgeable. First things first is the team, not yourself. Fighter pilot mantra is you'll be good enough, just good enough to where you think you're comfortable and then they'll send you off to the next upgrade or to the next task. I think the F-35 is the absolute best fighter you can be in right now. The community is awesome. We're a young community, we're growing fast. Um, all the instructors we have are very experienced and uh, I'm excited for what the future holds for the F-35. So to the future B course students coming to Eglin or, or to Luke, uh, I'd say Work hard in your first uh, few months of academics. It's going to be overwhelming at the start, but uh, once you start your sims and your flights, it'll all start to start to come together. Um, don't get down if you don't get it at first. Uh, our instructors are great, and they do a really good job of, of teaching you what you need to know and getting you up to speed. Be happy with whatever you get. Um, every airframe out there is awesome, and every job that the Air Force has is awesome. Um, in their own way, so just be really good at whatever you get assigned to, um, and that'll show more about you and your character than anything.